With the school season well underway, it's better to be safe than sorry for acting Kern High School District Police Chief Ed Komen. So anything that is even remotely hinted at could possibly be a threat. We spend a lot of time and resources making sure that it's not. He has 30 officers on his force, some who had to be placed at Ridgeview High School this morning after an unspecified threat was made to student safety. The threat, like most that are made to local schools, was deemed not credible, but it's still something that Komen has to put resources on. So it is tremendously uh, time intensive. So it is a little frustrating. He says many of these perceived threats start innocently enough, but spiral out of control. The story changes with each reposting, and before you know it, we have a threat at school. From there, it's up to the police department to see if the threat is actually credible. We get to the source of the report. We talk to the source of the report. He says each situation differs, but they always look to evaluate the threat. For example, does the person making the supposed threat actually have access to weapons? KHSD PD is not a 24-hour department, so they often work with the Bakersfield Police Department and other agencies when threats are discovered in the nighttime hours. And we seem to see them uh, more often than we'd like to. Last year, BPD says multiple arrests were made in connection to unfounded threats at schools. And a threat to violence is a crime that they say can haunt anyone caught doing it. These decisions that they're making now to, to, to participate in these kinds of illegal activities like falsely reporting emergencies can, can haunt them and it's, it's a significant uh, effect on their future. Both departments hopeful that these incidents will slow down, but for now it's better to be safe than sorry. It's vitally important that not only are the people safe at our schools, but it's important that they feel safe.